an intro. What's going on, guys? Hey. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see it. You? Yes. It works. Sounds like it. Okay, we have a, a large fish in here. Uh, okay, so it is cold outside, but it is warm in here, and uh, there's there's quite a bit of it, it is it is hot. In here. There's quite a bit of fish, though. Okay, the, I think I think the coolest thing I saw like on this row might have might have been the little paku. All right, so if you guys don't know, they're basically little piranhas, also known as paku. Hi there, kids. What, Nate? Nate, stop grabbing the fi knife fish. I always like the exotic fish. You guys always see that's kind of what I'm. Like they have scoliosis. This is one fish I have never owned, but I uh, I do want to own. Uh, cichlids, black fin sharks. I like me some puffer fish. That one got like it's like a neon green on top. What does that look like, Nate? That? Uh huh. Coconut. Oh, oh wait, that's a mini mini paku. That is basically a little itty bitty piranha, but not really. It looks like a freaking dinner plate. So everybody loves arowanas, but Nate's favorite fish in here. Are you ready, Nate? It is Nate's really happy? The silver dollars. No. <laughs> the uh, the massive the massive peacock bass. I like this one. Yeah, Nate. It looks ferocious. So I've only ever caught one peacock bass, and that was actually in Miami. I've never been to Miami. But uh, this one's big, and it's got really nice colors. And I have to move the red tail out of the pond, out of the tank, and put it into the indoor pond. Because keep in mind, everything goes into my outdoor pond. Two thousand, almost three thousand gallon one in in the spring. So in about four-ish months, I, we're doing great. Do you need any half frozen food or anything? Um, I think we're good. Is it just me or is that really awkward? Or Sebastian. So we've got to move the red tail out because he's big. So what's going to go in place of him? Something just as big. But now all of these fish, my arowana, my peacock bass, my red tail, everything goes into my pond. One fish that would be pretty cool in there would uh, be this red tail shark. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's probably a little bit smaller than the red tail, but it is uh It's like a two pounder, bro. It is, it is still pretty, very colorful. See, I like things that eat ferociously. If you don't know, this looks like one of those. See, Nate, that was, good. that was a good example. You think they'll give it to us for free? No. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're going crazy. Look at all of the guppies. There's so many fancy tail guppies in here. They Look at all of them. They all think they're about to be fed. Yeah, you guys seem to love the guppy breeding videos because they're averaging like 200,000 views. So thanks. Come on. Well, we were able to, to get it for $129, so we're gonna roll with that. But outside, they've got quite a bit of stuff going on, boys and girls. I don't know if you see it, let it focus. It looks black right now, and there they all are. Yep, about 350,000 goldfish. You gonna get them, Nate? Oh, I'll get them. Uh, Nate, 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 I'm Nate. No, Nate, Nate, Nate. God damn. All right, but no, they've got tubs on tubs on tubs. Oh, look at the little plump-eyed goldfish. Bro, can you just imagine, like, if somebody spilled gasoline in here and just, like, went... Like that would be so bad. Oh, I have these. I'm I'm breeding these. It's like when you go to the ocean and you see like a big school of fish, just it's a lot smaller than the ocean because it's a little like horse bowl. Dude, there's so many. That's a big one. That's a big one. All right, time to throw them on the grill. No, I'm just kidding. I want to fix it. <laughs> this fish keeper said not my time to throw him on the grill. He goes, uh, however you want to fix them. Yeah, we better take good care of that fish, temperature, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm going to throw him on the grill. I spend too much money in these videos. That is our fish back there. Medium rare, what I would suggest as far as cooking goes. <laughs> but no, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think that is the largest exotic fish I have ever paid for. Uh, my arowana that was gifted to me, the red tail that was gifted to me, my paku, nowhere near the size of that. So yeah, that, that, that'll come in as the largest exotic fish I think I've ever bought. Now it's time to head home. Fry her up. All right, they uh, cover the fish's eyes, so I didn't know how to uh, attack because it was a little bit angry. That was that was a good example, Nate. The big tank is on and good. Well, I turned that background light off. I think we're just gonna keep it off for a little bit. Freaking tape this thing up like no other. This is a large bag. The fish looks huge. This is by far the biggest exotic fish I've bought. Exactly. Okay, so we have a few different possible ways of acclimation. Oh no, he popped a hole. He popped a hole. He popped a hole. So you're gonna have to open the bag right now. Wait, but that's why the guy made two bags. So he popped both bags? Remember he- he, yeah, he only put one bag on. No, he put a second one on. They went and got a second one. It's not on. Do you wanna open it up? I'm just trying to film. I feel like we didn't fix that very well. <laughs> But this is the female. Her name is definitely Sharonda. Okay, I hate doing this, but there's a hole in the bag. I don't have any big buckets to, uh, to put this thing in. I don't have anything. I have nothing. So we're just gonna have to put this fish in. Yeah, it's losing water really fast. Okay. Well, we bought a big peacock named Sharonda. So this is just He does not want to be lived. You got him? Oh! 
Dude, he is a feisty one. This is the peacock we always wanted, but we kept getting bad ones. Dude, that thing is big. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, it's big, big. It's Jeez. bigger than I thought. Goodness, that was difficult. All right, we got to get this out. That'll do it. Right there, that'll definitely do it. Okay, so this bucket. Okay, as you guys can see, now we have two Paku. Now, they're not dead, they're mad because I took them away. So they're actually going into a bigger home than this, almost a 250 gallon indoor pond. Okay, so I had to take those two fish out because they're kind of equivalent to the size of the peacock because everything in here is going out here. The arowana, the red tail, the peacock, the Paku, everything is going into this pond. And now I say this because it gets warm here in about two months. So that peacock, he's only going to be in there for about two months. I mean, everything goes into there. And then back when it becomes winter next year, either I'm going to have a crazy house or we're going to be putting them back in an indoor pond. One of the two. So this is kept at 78 degrees as well as this is. So they're going to be the exact same temperature. So we don't have to worry about acclimating these. There we go. So look at them. Look at that fish. I'm gonna cover it till you cover their eyes, they're getting really freaking confused. And these are. Okay, Oscar, another tiger Oscar right there. All these fish, well, you guessed it, they're going into the 2,000 gallon pond also. It's gonna be insane. The big pond outside is going to be crazy. Ha! <laughs> no, 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 no. So we decided to stop out here and fish after we did everything else we had to do today. And it's really cold. Nothing ever hurts about some nice February bass. It's cold fishing. as balls. What do you mean nothing ever yeah. hurts? My hands hurt. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a big crappie and it's very cold. Bye now. <laughs> okay, tilapia. Let's see who's going to take it first. Wow. Okay, there we go. I wonder if he'll eat yet. Well, I can tell you that is a no. But the red tail will. And I can assure you that this water cow down here, gone. So we'll drop that in. Here's the arowana. Look at that. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Oh. Well, that was easy. Come on. Or are you. You're joking me. I just tried to, I just tried. I'm gonna get that. Well, what about to, well, that's your fault. We got a bunch of little worms in here. Oh, well, they'll be eating one day. Okay, so everything in here though is doing fantastic. Look, look. I just ended up actually cleaning this tank. You guys can see the watercolor, but I like the watercolor. It looks kind of dope. And then the bamboo obviously in the back. But if you guys want to get these, thefanaticbrand.com, the believer stickers, our Jade Gobi. Hi. This is just, I just love this. I just love it. It's, it, I mean, even Nate said, I took the Tupacu out and it's. Oh my god. But uh, there's a lot of space in here now for all the fish. But that, I mean, this is the biggest exotic fish I've ever bought. That peacock right there. And it is absolutely freaking gorgeous. And then there, can I just, can I, can I actually, can I? And then if you guys didn't watch the video, me and my girlfriend Victoria went out and got not just your average goldfish. Gosh, it's such a nice fish. And it's like these are you his little children. <laughs> The most plump goldfish in the entire world. These things are massive. Not, not those. No, you definitely fire them on the grill. Those are, those would be like little goldfish nuggets. Also, you guys can get the pink believer hoodies at thefanaticbrand.com. Like the one I'm wearing right now. This thing is so comfortable. Hey, buddy, what's going? What's cracking? What's going on? Gosh, look at this little tail wag. He gets so happy. Hi, hi. And then Steven, why aren't you showing me attention, guys? That is the duck food. We don't eat this. That'll, that'll give you bloat, Steven. And you too, young lady. We've been feeding them a bunch of vegetables, but I mean, I literally love it out here. Everything's oh. doing good. Yep. Oh yeah, Steven, get live. But like I've been saying, I've said this numerous amounts of times, all of the fish will be going oh, yeah. right in here. All the big fish are gonna go in here. I have to do a massive water change on this, so it's gonna be like crystal clear in a few months. But this is the move. Overall though, hopefully you guys went on to enjoy today's video. If you guys join my channel, Click the subscribe button down below. And uh, now me and Nate have to make a long drive so uh, to film more content. Peace.